Seidel is reporting for us from the Casper area. And Mike, I mean, when I think Casper, I think the friendly ghost. But uh, for some reason, Casper, Wyoming is not necessarily a ghost town right now. Folks are still moving around. Yeah, they're getting around. Schools are closed. We're going to get the eyewitness report. We've got Jenny Curtis, the local meteorologist for Channel 13, our NBC affiliate, KCYW, KCWY, excuse me, and Alyssa Deach, who is the morning anchor. And both of you have been riding around town. What have you seen this morning as far as uh, trees and power lines, Jenny? So far, a lot of the trees are held down by all of the snow accumulating on those branches, and a lot of them have fallen on the sidewalks, on the streetways. A lot of them are hanging off the power lines, so people are urged to not touch these trees if they are touching these power lines. And there have been some power outages on the east side of Casper. Absolutely, yes. The east side of Casper is without power at this point. Of course, they're all working hard enough to get it going again, but at this point, east side of Casper is still out of power. And Alyssa, over to you. What about the uh, roads? Now, we're seeing uh, you know, the roads that are flat are in pretty good shape. You're from uh, the San Francisco Bay Area, so uh, you're, you're not used to this. How's the driving this morning? Now, the driving is pretty rough for all of us out-of-towners. I think everybody who lives here, they're pretty used to these roads. Uh, the snow clouds do a really great job here. They've been out since we got to work around 3 in the morning. So they've been plowing these main roads. The side streets still are a little iffy. So if you are out there, I would just stay, stay off of those side roads if you can. And what do you look forward to uh, the rest of today and tonight? You're the Met here in town. You're the local. Give me the lowdown. Give me the scoop. Well, I think the snow will stick around until the early evening right. hours for us here in Casper. But for the most part, our snow should hopefully wrap up by later this evening. And, of course, the sun will come out tomorrow, and we'll be able to melt things pretty quickly. And you had a pretty uh, pretty toasty summer out here. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's always a warm summer and very extreme winters. Just two ends of the <laughs> spectrum. Hey, you know what? You and I... You and I, you two, we should go on the road. You want to go on the road with me? Sure. I could use some help. You know, we 18 hours a day. You could you could handle some live shots. You could you could do the news headlines. Sounds great. Okay, I'll, there you I'm, go. I'm fall for it. Okay, there's Alyssa and Alyssa Beach, Jenny Curtis from KCWI, our NBC affiliate. Nick and Viv, always good to get the uh, local angle here in beautiful Casper, <laughs> Wyoming. Back to you guys. All right, and it's good to see that the local angle is going to be looking a little bit better here in the next 24 hours. Mm -hmm. But we all have to watch